Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope today that I can give you clarity in your situation. Remember to only take what resonates and leave what does not for another somebody else who needs to hear it, okay? So let's jump in. We've got a few new decks. Okay, so let's jump in and find out what Spirit wants you to know. Messages for Scorpio, Sun Moon Venus Rising to Spirit. What messages does Scorpio need to know right now, please? Messages for Scorpio. Oops. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Okay, so let's find out what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, can you give me the messages for Scorpio, please? Okay, tell me what the overall situation is for Scorpio and the person they're dealing with. Fake account, fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Okay, so I feel like someone, this could be both of you. Okay, I feel like this is the person you're dealing with. Maybe you're also making fake accounts to see like, what someone's up to, see what they're dealing with. This could be somebody with dark brown hair, possibly. It doesn't have to be. Maybe this is even a person who likes to drink coffee. Okay. Inside scoop. And then scarcity tactics. So, uninterested. Oh. So, Scorpion, what I'm getting... Bottom of the deck, we have moving. Someone might have moved. Maybe this is you. Maybe you've moved recently moved locations. You're not in the same place. Um, or maybe even this person. I feel like someone is trying to figure out. They're trying to get a closer look. They're being nosy. I feel like they're being in your business. But I don't think that they're acting interested. I think this person is trying to appear unbothered by the situation. I also feel like this person could be looking you up to find out if you are still interested. They're trying to get the scoop. They're trying to, they're nosy. They're up in your business. Definitely someone's being in somebody's business. Someone's definitely spying. Somebody's trying to act like they're not bothered and they're creating fake accounts because they don't want to make you real. They don't want you to know that they, they are actually caring a lot more than they do. They're trying to seem unbothered. This, if you're a female and you have walked away from a masculine, I'm noticing the female that's walking away from the masculine in this card, or the man. Um, this could be, maybe this is even you acting uninterested. Or this could be you, you could be this, this man, and this, this could be a female that walked away from you. With scarcity tactics, I feel like someone is, maybe someone walked away because they felt like they didn't have enough to offer the other person. Maybe they thought that they were just not in a place in their life to be able to provide something from here. What is uninterested? Broke ass. <laughs> like, what did I just say? So, somebody doesn't have as much money as maybe that they feel like they should have, at, maybe at their age. Maybe they've gone through something, maybe possibly because another person moved. It's taken a lot of money out of their account to maybe make some big, large move. And this person, yeah, this person doesn't have a whole lot is what Spirit's saying. They're uninterested. They act uninterested because they don't have enough to offer. They don't have much to offer. This person is pinch and penny, Spirit said. What is scarcity, Spirit? What is scarcity tactics here? Running. So I feel like someone is, somebody's ran from this connection. Maybe they're running from their, they're running from maybe problems in their life. This could be a person who gets, <clears throat> maybe they have like debt. They owe some debts to a bill collector or something. And this person isn't paying for them. They're running from the actual issues of, in their, in their life that are problems instead of maybe trying to focus on taking care of it. This person's not being responsible, spirit said. Okay, and if it's not that, this, could, this person could have just had something happen where there's a big move. They're not having a whole lot to offer you. Why is a closer look and fake accounts your spirit? Drama starter. Oh. Maybe you're seeing that this person is a person who is like, they start a lot of shit. I'm also hearing if you have like a social media account and you feel like somebody is 
trolling you, this person could be doing it. And it's because they like to start shit. They're trying to see if these are affecting you. Maybe they're even trying to affect your money. Yeah, Scorpio, but I feel like, I don't feel like this is, you're unfazed by this. I feel like you're staying to yourself. There could be some of you who are going to get like some unexpected income. Maybe, maybe um, it wouldn't be a bad idea, Spirit saying, to like, you know, play the lotto or get a lottery ticket or just do something. I don't know if you do that, but I feel like right now this is the season of luck. Tell me, what does this person want? They're... Scorpio, someone's keeping an eye on you for sure. We have Stalker. Watching, obsessed. Someone, I feel like someone's really into you a lot more than they're letting on. Okay, they're fantasizing about this. This is a person, I feel like this person wants you to... This person is wanting to not let you forget about them. They don't want you to forget about them. Maybe they're trying to, they're, they ran from this because they didn't have a whole lot. They're trying to, maybe they're even trying to figure out some information about somebody who started something between the both of you. And maybe they appear uninterested or maybe how that you, you appeared uninterested. There's definitely something here about fake accounts, stalking because of obsession. Because, yeah, look, underneath that we have into you. This is good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Watching, obsessing, stopped. Okay, so this is someone who I feel like this person is running from the Scorpio because they don't have a whole lot to offer. Maybe this is even them that's acting unfazed or uninterested. Okay, but if they're so uninterested and unfazed by this, then why are they stalking you from fake accounts? Trying to get information about you because they're really actually into you. This person could have started shit between you and someone else, possibly. I'm also hearing. So if you came out of another relationship, this could be someone from your past who doesn't like that, who's trying to start things between you. And this person could be, that person could be someone who doesn't have a whole lot of money. They have a scarcity mindset. They ran from this connection and they're acting unfazed and interested. I feel like there's, maybe there's even, I'm hearing girl, I've seen girl fight at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone who is, they're competing with you, Scorpio. Maybe they're, they're trying to put you in competition between you and someone else, I'm hearing. And you feel like, you, you're, I feel like you're not even, if that's you, okay, and this, this is your story, the second message that I'm getting, you could be really not caring what this person's doing, and I feel like it's bothering them that you're not interested. So they're going online from fake accounts, trying to antagonize you. This is a person who's broke or who doesn't have a whole lot of money, or they're trying to affect your money that's starting stuff, and it's because they're, they're, they really do want this. Okay? I feel like this person's trying to fight. Look, again, looking you up, taking screenshots. This could be a person who is, is a thief who stole from you. Maybe if you have a social media account, maybe if you have like an online platform or something, this person is, is trying to start shit on your, your platform by trolling you, I'm hearing. They don't like the fact that you're shining. And I feel like if you've walked away from this person, this person is, you've dodged a bullet. I feel like you're trying to escape crazy people, but Spirit's saying you're protected by... Yeah, you have a happy, happiness hater. Look at this. You have someone who's hating on you. They're clout hungry. Maybe they see that you have a big platform or something or that you're getting attention and this is a person who says anything, does anything, makes shit up. They're dramatic because they don't like the fact that you're shining. This person is, I feel like this person robbed a lot from you. Maybe they, I'm hearing stole a phone, try to walk, look through your phone. Your light irritates this person's demons. This is a person who might really marry for money. They're trying to start something. Maybe if you are married or you're getting married, this person's trying to start drama between you and the person you're up with. 
maybe they're telling people that you marry for money. I feel like this person is trying to... There's, there, you've dodged a bullet here. This is a person who's obsessed. And yes, they're definitely having money problems. This is a person who has bad karma that's coming. This person, I feel like, yeah, I'm just seeing broke ass and bankrupt, bad karma. Someone's, maybe their finances being affected. Maybe they drink alcohol and noticing the drink. They're avoiding their, their responsibilities. I told you, it's like they're getting bills. I said that a minute ago. It's like they're getting bills in the mail that are past you and they're running from it. And it's, I feel like it's because they're so focused on you. This is a person who's unhealthy. Maybe their health is bad. They're possessive. I feel like this was a karmic partner. This is really what I'm getting for the most of you. And I feel like you, this person just wants another chance is what Spirit's saying. I feel like this person was emotionally unavailable with thief here. They robbed you of maybe your time. This person could be really actually dangerous, toxic. I feel like this person, um, they're getting karma for something. Spirit saying you dodged a bullet. Yeah, I'm seeing same shit, different day. This person has, isn't going to change. Why? Because you're too busy winning. This is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, look, somebody's fake flexing and crying over you. Maybe they're trying to offer you something. But they're fake flexing. They act, rich, they act rich. They show off. And they actually don't have a whole lot. This person is actually going broke. Maybe they live above their means. They're buying things that are maybe not within their reasonable price, price range. Yeah, I'm seeing digging dirt, looking for dirt on you. Someone's trying to affect you. This is a karmic partner who has a huge ego. They're a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is holding a grudge, Scorpio. They might have even caught a case, a sexual like infection, sexual disease, a rash. Maybe their cars got repoed. I'm seeing carless, car issues. Yeah, I feel like this person's creeping for sure. Maybe you just got a new offer or they're wanting to give you an offer. This is a person who I feel like is just, they're receiving consequences for their actions in the past. And I feel like, yeah. And you're not, you're unfazed by this. It's like maybe you even expected this person to receive the karma that they got. I don't think you wished it upon them. Yeah, someone's really pissed because they're crying over you. They're sad, they're hurt, they're upset. I feel like this person is angry that maybe you've moved on and that you're unfazed and unbothered. I feel like they're still trying to pretend that they, that they don't care when they actually do. I feel like this person got what came to them because of, yeah, you've moved on. Thank you, next. I'm hearing thank you, next by Ariana Grande. You're moving on from this person, okay? I feel like this person is trying to affect your reputation with bad reputation here. I feel like someone's trying to affect your reputation. They're talking shit behind a computer screen is what Spirit just said. This person, with scarcity tactic coming out again, me seeing that, and broke ass, I feel like someone's trying to affect your finances, but I also feel like their finances are affected. Um, maybe they owe you something. They're trying to like make you come back to them because for maybe for financial reasons. But I don't feel like you're bothered by this. I feel like this person, yeah, this person has a huge ego. You hurt their ego. You hurt this person's huge ego. I feel like this person's trying to make you feel like you weren't, I feel like they made you feel like you weren't enough. Or that you didn't make enough. You didn't do enough. They could have thrown, like, finances in your face. This person fake flexes, though. They don't actually really have it together. I don't feel like they're very responsible with car repossession there. Yeah, this person, look, it just came out. I just said that. Look, someone doesn't have a car. Maybe it got repoed. They're having car issues. I feel like maybe that's why they could be, yeah, they're talking shit. I feel like this is why this person is probably, 
like looking you, they're hooked on you. They're looking you up online because maybe they don't have a car. Moves in silence. I feel like this is, yeah, someone's into you. Yeah, but somebody's trying to cock block. There's a love triangle here. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. I feel like right now you might have chemistry with somebody new or that maybe this is someone that you're going to have chemistry with, a new person. This feels like a new energy. You have multiple offers, multiple lovers, choices, people that you're dating. I feel like if there's a, a love triangle here, Okay, whether maybe this be a past person I'm feeling, you have a choice to make. Maybe this person made the bad choice. I feel like someone from your past is trying to block you from maybe getting new offers. And I feel like it's, it's maybe even important that you move in silence and focus just on positivity. That's what Spirit is saying to me. Definitely somebody from your past is cock blocking. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio. Give me new energy, please, Spirit. Give me new energy. Scorpio, please. Who's this new person? Energy coming into Scorpio's life or this inner Scorpio's life. Okay, we have the three of wands. So I feel like someone is seeing expansion and growth with you. They're and they're imagining, they're looking ahead. With foresight, I feel like someone's trying to think, yeah, could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Mm. I feel like this person from your past could be a fire sign, or maybe they have a lot of fire in their chart. Aquarius energy out here, Taurus energy, Leo energy, um, and Cancer energy. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles. We also have Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like there's, I feel like you have someone, Scorpio, who could be an Earth sign. They have a lot of Earth in their chart. This is someone who is abundant. They're maybe very secure in themselves. This is a person who I feel like makes you feel safe. Um, I feel like they're very protective, protective over their beliefs, protective, um, of maybe their friends. They really hold a lot of value with tradition is what spirit is saying to me. This person might be very educated. Um, I feel like this is a person who just has a lot of wisdom spirit is saying to me, this could be a person who's older, but I feel like this person is really set and stable in their life. Okay. Um, this is a person who doesn't conform. Very conventional is what Spirit's saying to me. But they hold really, they're really protective of their beliefs. Um, this, this is a person who makes you feel safe is what Spirit's saying to me. They're very kind. And I feel like their friends are very kind. The people that surround this person is very kind. Um, but this person has a vision. And they're very protective of that vision. Maybe they even trying to get gather even more information about something that's going on in your life this is a person who i feel like if you've met them um this is a person who is very confident in this relationship they see growth they see the potential for growth this is a person who is there's a lot of momentum that's picking up and i feel like this is a person who's looking to maybe even travel to see you soon um maybe they travel or maybe this person has, I'm seeing this person might have a nice car. Maybe they have a nice car. I just feel like this person's very 
they're very um, very wise is what spirit's saying to me they're, they have a lot of self dis discipline they're very focused on their aspirations and their goals and I feel like this king of wands right here being in the challenge position um, I feel like for a lot of times being a court card being in the challenge position I usually use read this as someone who is um, an actual person okay so I feel like this person it could be a Leo or maybe even a Sagittarius I feel like this is a person who maybe they live at some distance this is a person who um, I feel like this is a person who's forceful I feel like they're domineering um, I feel like they're they're a weak leader is what spirit's saying to me and they fake flex they might be I just feel like they're very um, very forceful but spirit saying this person has lost their power over your life. They've lost their power. I feel like you're in your divine feminine energy. And I feel like you've learned your worth, Scorpio. And I feel like right now you're in this energy of a lot of fertility. You're trying to nurture yourself. I feel like you could be feeling very creative right now. I feel like your beauty is radiating. I'm hearing glow up. Okay. So, man or woman, I feel like you're very abundant right now. You're creating new things, new opportunities. Um, I feel like maybe you could like Starbucks or like coffee drinks or something. I'm just noticing this drink. It kind of looks like Starbucks if you see that right there. Um, I feel like there, <laughs> there's random messages I'm getting. So, But I feel like um, if this person is not a fire sign that is being the challenge, I do feel like this is a person who might have, I'm hearing a fire rising. So maybe they have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius rising. Um... But this is the person who's very domineering. They're they're tyrannical. They're vicious. Um, and I feel like this power that they might have had over you in the past is becoming ineffective. It no longer works. Now, I do feel like this new person that you're dealing with, they might feel like you're being sneaky. Okay? They might be feeling like you're being strategic about something. But I don't feel like maybe that... I'm hearing maybe that they even know you have to be that way. Tell me why Seven of Swords is here. Hang on. Let's see. Why is Seven of Swords here, Spirit? Why is Seven of Swords here? Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like Seven of Swords is here. It's because there was an opportunity here to maybe move something forward with you or to maybe even travel to see you. Um, and I feel like it could be because of this king of wands right here in the challenge position that they know you have to be strategic. Maybe this person even knows about this person. Let's see. Why king of wands? The four of swords. Yeah. So they know that right here, this, this king of wands, this person, might, your new person might know about somebody from your past. They know that they're very strategic. Um, that they're cunning towards you that they're controlling they see you trying to heal from this person the challenge is, is you need to protect yourself from this king of wands and rest maybe i'm hearing you need to get more sleep okay i feel like this is something where it will bring you a lot more peace but i feel like you're being challenged to have some sort of self peace or inner inner peace within yourself um, because of this king of wands. I feel like this king of wands is, in, is antagonizing you. I feel like they're, they're causing um, stagnancy or they're trying to pro like create stagnancy in your life. We did see there earlier um, scarcity mindset. I feel like this person is trying to create a scarcity mindset. Maybe they're even talking to you and telling you that you're not enough or that nobody would ever like you or they're, they're strong creating something in your, within your mind to make you feel some type of way. Maybe because they know that you see new opportunities. They see new offers. They see maybe that you are an empress energy. For some of you, I'm hearing Taurus rising or Taurus moon. You could also have Cancer moon or Cancer rising. I feel like Someone sees you putting yourself first. And I feel like they they could be even like telling 
whoever you're dealing with now, if they know about that person, they could be telling that person that you're only there. They could be telling this person you're sneaky. Um, just creating some sort of strat strategy and being sneaky. They might tell this person that you're lying or you're, you're tricking them. We did see the card that came out that said marrying for money. They could even be telling this person that you're marrying for money to try to maybe create obstacles from you healing from them and actually moving forward with your life. Um, you need, we have, we have recuperation out here. So protect yourself from this King of Wands is what Spirit's saying to me. Be assertive. Advice from Spirit in this, in this spread is being assertive. Okay. Um, be in direct with somebody. Use your intellect. Stay focused on what you need to create and what you need to do. Um, don't become impatient. I feel like you've been impatient. Spirit's saying, take, be more daring and focused on the goal. Maybe you need to even give information or talk to somebody. Maybe it could be a Taurus that you need to talk to. Um, or an air sign. You need to give some sort of information to somebody to let this person know they can't create any more obstacles in your life. I feel like they've already done enough. Maybe even this person, I feel like, is being protective over you. They're gaining more knowledge about the situation. Um, I do feel like maybe this person you're dealing with now or that you're going to be dealing with is, um, they, I feel like they do, they are concerned. They're concerned if maybe you're being truthful or honest or if there's anything that you're keeping hidden. I feel like this person that you're dealing with or going to be dealing with is they see marriage with you. They feel like you're very smart. They see um, the potential for a happy home. And I feel like they're feeling success in this relationship in some aspect. I feel like this person, like I said, they could take control over things. They're very focused. They're very disciplined. I feel like it's somebody who's completely opposite from this King of Wands. Okay, and this King of Wands doesn't have to be somebody you dated in your past. This could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a boss, a coworker. But I feel like whatever is this king, whoever this King of Wands is right here is someone who creates obstacles in your life or illusions. They're, and they're, they're someone who tries to control you. They're very forceful. But the thing is, is this has become ineffective. And Spirit's saying that maybe you need to be more assertive with something. I feel like Spirit's also telling me, don't focus so much on being a perfectionist or perfectionism. I feel like you could be, um, you could be somebody who's, who's focused on like trying to get it all right or have it all together. Spirit's saying it's okay. Take, you know, little bitty steps, baby steps. That's all you need to do. Take baby steps towards your future. And you could be just looking at the list and feeling overwhelmed by everything that you need to do to create this new life or to rid yourself from this person and maybe even feel like you can relax mentally, feel like you're in your head a lot. Um, I feel like maybe you need a safe space. Go, maybe even going to the spa could actually help you. There's something you're, you're trying to recover from. I feel like you're gonna be able to slowly enter the world again um, from isolation. I feel like you could have been feeling maybe even... You could be feeling like restlessness right now, Scorpio. Um, there's something that you're needing, to, you're needing to release this King of Wands or release the maybe the anger and resentment that you're feeling for this King of Wands. Because um, I feel like you, you're maybe, have, maybe you become less optimistic. I feel like maybe there's some sort of awakening that this King of Wands has triggered. Awakening about how maybe this person is powerless now. Maybe you've, you've tried to take some sort of power back from this pers person. I feel like Spirit's saying to be bold. Um, make daring decisions. Take control. See the bigger picture. Have a vision. And I feel like with this person right here, I feel like this person helps you do that this earth sign or water sign. I feel like they, they're gonna help you. I feel like they're part, of your, they're part of your journey, your path. This is a person who maybe you can even learn a lot from. They're gonna help create stability in your life. 
This could be a friend, a family member. It doesn't have to be a lover. But for a lot of you, I'm feeling like, you know what? Spirit just said this could be a family member or a friend that you're also dealing with. But I feel like this person sees like um, an opportunity to educate themselves on maybe things that you've experienced in your life. But I also feel like this person has been like, they've been very kind. And I feel like they create, they have a lot of prosperity in their life. Maybe they're helping you manage like your finances or even giving you advice if this is a friend. Okay. Um, I feel like abundance is surrounded by this person. And I feel like this person from the past was very greedy. Very materialistic is what spirit's saying to me. A chauvinist. With maybe poor financial decisions that they made. This is a person who was possessive over money and a gambler, but here's the thing, they fake flex. We saw that. I feel like this new person is really into you. And I feel like spirit's saying to be moving in silent, not to let anybody know about your situation. Okay? Um, Scorpio, with this chariot being here, we have the chariot, we have the empress, and that hierophant. I feel like this is an opportunity in your life right now to where you need to have self-control and discipline and to create a vision, a plan, and focus on that and be assertive and don't second-guess yourself. Stay focused, but don't try to be overly so focused on these ambitions that you become a perf like perfectionism because you're not going to get it right, right away, right? Nobody has it. You can't just start doing something like tarot for instance um when i started i'm still learning every day it's a learning learning experience but you can't go into something expecting to be great at it immediately some people are lucky like that right but it takes hard work studying dedication um time time is a big thing i'm hearing maybe you feel like time is running out or time's ticking maybe you just feel like you know something's not moving quickly but spirit's saying look at the beauty of the situation and realize how much growth you have had, okay? You are in the divine feminine energy. I feel like in the past, maybe you could have been really insecure. And I feel like this is something that was um, maybe even lacking this growth, I feel like really affected you. And I feel like it, you were maybe even <laughs> clingy in some way in a relationship or that's maybe you were codependent in some way. But this new person does not see you that way. I feel like they've helped put you in your divine feminine energy. And I feel like I'm noticing this card over here that says move in silence, okay? I'm sorry. I got distracted. I just have to say this real quick. And I'm looking at the seven of swords. And this person that you're dealing with right now is seeing you as the seven of swords. I feel like this person might even be telling you to not speak to whoever this friend or ex is. And you might need to do that in order to heal from this. You need to do that and move in silence and be strategic. Um, I'm hearing resourcefulness, okay? So maybe um, figure out, and I feel like this person could be giving you information about how to do that. They could be trying to educate you. Maybe they've even experienced something like this from themselves. I feel like you're, you're around maybe a group of people or friends or family or something. And I feel like these people are trying to give you wise advice wise advice spirit saying take that advice i'm hearing these people are very um intelligent don't be afraid to do what you need to do okay you need to definitely get out of some sort of scarcity mindset what was that card earlier that i seen yeah i feel like this could even involve maybe you moving we saw that card Maybe some of you have moved or this person's moved. I feel like, yeah, you really dodged a bullet and someone's not happy about this. They feel really, they feel rejected. Okay? I feel like they feel rejected and maybe they're just acting uninterested. I'm hearing photo, I'm seeing photo proof. So somebody might be trying to get photos or pictures or some sort of information on you. Tell me why. Let me get these out of the way. Hang on, Scorpio. Yeah. Someone from your past might even be telling people that you married them for money, even though, because they're fake flexing. And I feel like it's not true. Okay? Maybe it's necessary that you, like, travel to a different location. I'm looking at this airplane. 
traveling to a different location, moving to a different area, but keeping it quiet. This person might know that you need to, you're trying to be resourceful and move in silence. Yeah, kissing ass. This person from the past, Scorpio, I feel like is trying to, they're, they're, if they haven't yet to do this, I feel like this person's going to be kissing your ass. Why is kissing ass their script? The strength. Yeah, someone is, someone is trying to create doubt in your life. This is a coward. Cowardness. Again, another card about forcefulness. Um, I feel like this is a person who's feeling weak and they're they're kissing your ass now. I feel like this person is where they were trying to create self-doubt self within you. Okay? And create maybe low confidence. And maybe is in some way trying to make you feel inadequate. You need to move away from this person. And Spirit's saying you need to do that by, by being very direct and assertive, okay? Focusing on your ambitions. Not getting overly focused on what you don't have, okay? I feel like if you were to stop and think about maybe where you're at now and from maybe from the past, I feel like you'd be, I feel like you're going to be really feeling like a lot has gotten better, okay? Um... I feel like you're in this energy of very, like your your beauty's radiating. I feel like you your sensuality showing. I feel like you're feeling creative. Um, but I really feel like someone's it's like taking them a lot to try to hold themselves back, and they're kissing your ass. This is a person I'm just hearing forceful. Someone definitely might have a Leo in their chart. This person that is being the challenge is coming in with a lot of Leo, and I'm also seeing Cancer. Aquarius, Taurus, maybe these are Taurus again, Capricorn, this could be something they have in their chart. Focus on your inner power. I feel like this. there's something that's coming up and maybe this person's trying to kiss your ass before. I feel like this person in the past didn't see your value. They see it now. They see it now, Scorpio. You might have even told this person that you knew that things were going to get better for you. And they just, they didn't believe, maybe, I'm hearing that they didn't believe you'd walk away. They never believed you'd walk away. Because I feel like they put some sort of energy or they tried to create illusions in your life and make you feel inadequate. They, this person might have wanted you to need them. And this caused a lot of a lack of progress in your life. I feel like maybe it made you very insecure and negligent towards focusing on your ambitions and what you needed to do. And I feel like this person really tried to make you feel inadequacy. I feel like this person maybe even was smothering at times, overbearing, and you lacked growth because of it. Maybe they wanted you to depend on them. And now it's important because I feel like this person is vicious and I do feel like they're domineering and, and, and because they are so weak to letting into their ego, we saw ego there, um, I feel like this person, they're trying to put you in competition or make you even feel like you were competition. We saw the third party card that came out. I feel like this is a person who might have had a third party. Maybe they're even trying to make you upset by trying to make you feel some type of way by putting third parties in the situation. And I don't feel like it's working. I feel like you know this person is just full of a bunch of lies and trickery and sneakiness. I feel like um, this person has regret, Spirit said. Let me see. Yeah. Tell me what this um, seven swords, please, spirit. It's too many, please. Let me do this again. Hang on one second, guys. Let me pause this. There's a little bit of noise in the background. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause that real quick. Okay, so we have... Let me see if I can do this. Let me pull another card. Oops, deck spirit. 
Tell me why Seven of Swords is here, Spirit, please. The page of the page of swords in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio, you seriously? Someone someone's trying to get information on you. I feel like they're gossiping about you. I'm feeling like someone is, I feel like this person from your past could be gossiping. And trying to like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're trolling in some way or they're gossiping about you, about how maybe you're sneaky. That's a side message for some of you. But I also feel like this new person, Scorpio, they might feel like you have, they might feel like you're very defensive and they're, they're questioning themselves. Um, maybe, maybe about this, this Knight of Wands, they're curious about this Knight of Wands. They don't. They don't know if you're completely, the challenge could be that this person feels like maybe you haven't completely healed from someone from your past. And maybe they feel like you felt there's a failure to communicate what you need or, um, or that maybe you're rude in some way. This person might feel like that you're rude sometimes, that you're very scatterbrained is what Spirit's saying. And they might even feel like it's kind of like insulting sometimes and in that you, you could be cynical and that could be concerning to them. They don't know why you're doing that. They might feel like sometimes you're argumentative. Um, I also feel like this person is, they, they, don't, they view you as someone who maybe doesn't, that you're unsure about the future. They might feel like you're, you're shy or that you're avoiding expressing your true feelings and failing to communicate something with them. And I feel like that's also why we have the Hierophant here. This person could be concerned. They, I feel like they're, they're looking for a lifetime partner. And they're looking to you. And I feel like this person wants to move things forward. They see you as somebody that they want to create a new beginning with. They feel like you're very nurturing. You're beautiful. You're handsome. That you're creative. They see the future of having abundance, okay? Um, but I feel like they're looking for a lifetime partner is what Spirit's saying with hair front here. This person's looking for marriage for all of it. And I feel like they see a vision. They're looking to you to see if maybe you're actually... I'm just noticing this three of wands. If you look at this three of wands and this being right next to cancer, look at the card. This not, three of wands is looking to that cancer card. And they're looking to see if maybe you can actually move something forward here. But I feel like right now they're in this energy of questioning that, questioning you. Because I'm also noticing this Three of Wands is looking to the Seven of Swords and this Page of Swords in reverse. They're, I feel like they, were, they feel like you're maybe very scatterbrained and in your head a lot. Okay? And so they're trying to figure out if, if, if this is something that they can have and create a life, a stable life with. Because this person's um, ready for something serious. Um, but I feel like the whole thing is you're being challenged by this person right here, this King of Wands. And this person, I feel like they have love for you because they want the Empress, the Chariot. And they, they're, they're envisioning all this happening with you. But I do feel like also they're, they're wondering if maybe you are being strategic about something. They, they're questioning themselves if you are maybe um, having lies, okay? Because maybe they feel like sometimes you're defensive. Um, maybe they just feel like you're, you're saying a lot, but you're not doing a lot. That you're, you're overanalyzing everything. Maybe they see that you're trying to research to maybe how to do something. But they're seeing you take no action. And this has become... Um, I feel like this is something that's unexpected for that a problems have arise from the situation. Um, and I feel like maybe even for some of you there, maybe you've said you were going to do something, but you haven't done it because you are maybe scatterbrained. Okay. It doesn't have to be true. This is how this person's seeing you, but they feel like they see the opportunity here, but they also question if this is like an actual possibility to have. Because they're, they're seeing, um, maybe they see that you're not able to sit down and, and be stress-free. Um, I feel like this person sees both sides. I feel like this, this is a person who doesn't want to waste their time. Um, 
this person, I feel like they know that there's obstacles here. And I feel like this person knows that maybe, maybe you even felt powerless in a situation or that there, there was something that was here that was obstructive, right? But this person really wants to, I feel like they see the potential. Tell me um, what this person is wanting with Scorpio. Yeah, four of pentacles, the five or six pentacles, and then we have the fool. So this person, I feel like they don't want, yeah, knight of swords at the bottom of the deck again. I feel like this person is um, worried if you're given to something else. They might feel like that, you know, if they do something wrong, that it's going to take one slip up and that boom, you're back to this king of wands because this king of wands maybe holds a lot of power over you or has in the past. And I feel like this person's afraid of, they're afraid of giving to this relationship and putting in time and effort. And they're feeling like in a way that you're not, that maybe you're holding back a little bit. Maybe you do have a scarcity mindset, Scorpio, because of someone over here. And this could be for good reason. But this person's afraid that maybe you're not opening up completely and that you're not willing to give. Um... And they're scared of maybe trying to work something and being determined to do something here. They're scared that you're not ever going to open up completely. You're not ever really going to give to this. This person sees the value in you. And I feel like this person is just afraid of being deceived. They're, they're hoping that you're not hiding any information from them. And we saw moves in silence here. This person is just afraid that maybe there's something they don't know. They're afraid of, yeah, judgment here. Okay, hang on. I just dropped these cards. Yeah, this person wants to work to you. They're waiting to see something grow because they want commitment. But they see you guarded. And they do maybe realize that you're trying to maybe move away from something from your past. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have justice. Um, maybe you're married or they want marriage with you or they, they're hoping that that's what happens. But I feel like this person, you know, they, they, want a, they want a decision, I feel like, about they're trying to make a decision about if things can work out between you. Because I feel like this person has been waiting for maybe, maybe even for a commitment. Maybe they've been waiting for commitment. And you haven't been able to do that for whatever reason. And they're just scared that maybe you're holding back and that maybe, I feel like this person, I just keep hearing they're, they're, they're feeling like, they're, they're hoping that they're not wasting their time. Okay. We have Scorpio energy. We have a lot of earth. Well, this person could have a lot of earth in their chart because we have the King of Pentacles. And then we have Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles right next to it. So this person definitely, um, they're, they're definitely very grounded in reality. This person knows what they want. They're going after it. Um, they're hoping to make things work. They're putting in the work. They're seeing you put in work. But I feel like maybe they're even just waiting for like a real commitment. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, this person is, they're trying to wait for something to grow here. And it could be because they want this, marriage. They're hoping to have that. Because this is a person who, when they set their mind on something, you know, um, they're very protective of it, but they want to see abundance in all forms. Okay? And they could even know that this person is a challenge. That you're, maybe that you're being challenged to actually heal from this person and what they've done to you. Okay, um, and I feel like they see you doing that with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands. They see that maybe you are holding a little bit back, Four of Pentacles. Um, maybe that you're not telling them everything, or they're hoping that you're telling them everything. And this is kind of risky to this person. I feel like, I don't feel like this is like, they don't feel badly about you, but I think this is just a concern. Okay. The Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands, they, they want to move past something. With the Seven of Wands... This person, um, maybe they feel like you need to es establish some sort of limits or relationship, like boundaries. Maybe they feel like um, that you are sort of defensive because you're trying to move past something. Or maybe this is something you guys have talked about. Maybe they want you to trust or they're trying to trust. So I'm just hearing trust and time. 
I feel like with this advice being assertive, I feel like your advice from spirit is to be assertive and definitely to maybe trust this person. Okay. Um, this person is advocating for this love. They're wanting to win. Um, maybe you guys are even working on your finances or together or you're working on your finances. You're trying to grow something here, maybe in your career. But I feel like this person, they, they made a decision that they're going to put in whatever necessary to make this work between the both of you. They want to see growth. And with the Six of Swords being there, Scorpio, I feel like we have a person who they want, maybe, maybe you even, maybe you could have gotten to a disagreement or an argument or a fight. This is a person who's hoping that you can move on from that. Maybe you felt distant in some way. I feel like they're trying to leave. You're, maybe they're even wanting you to leave back this defensive energy that you had. They're, um, they're hoping that you're just accepting some sort of lesson from your past. Okay. Sorry about that, Scorpio. They're hoping to, that you're maybe, that you're finally, they see, they want to move, they want you to move on from the past. Okay. They're hoping that you're going to move on from the past and that you're not going to put any walls up. They want you, I feel like this person also hopes that you assert yourself and to move on from maybe some lessons that you've learned. Okay. Um, I do feel like this person is also trying to maybe find stability in, in your life if you are, like are with this person or um, going to be with this person. They they want they want to they do want they're hoping that you stay stuck to your decision to work on this with them and to move on from things from your past. They're hoping that you're not because they feel like maybe you're resisting this in some way, Scorpio. They, they want you to move on from a relationship um, or a fight. They want you to move on from maybe being so guarded because maybe they know that this person did that from your past. They're, they're hoping that this determination and you confronting maybe your past and any external factors that could be hindering the progress between the both of you they're hoping that you guys can involve as individuals to move this relationship forward to have this new beginning together. They're, they're wanting growth. Okay, they definitely want growth. Um, growth to a higher level of commitment is what Spirit said. They've made a decision. If you had any question in your head about how this person's feeling, this person's made a decision about putting effort and putting work into this. And their effort and work that they're putting into this is about high, having a higher level of commitment. That leads to long term, forever. You're being the forever person. They do have this vision about moving things forward, but I feel like this person, this is just a thought in their head. They do question if there's something you're keeping back and that if they're just giving for nothing and maybe even being risky by doing this with that full energy. They're wondering if this beginning and this spontaneity of a venture of, you know, giving to this and, and putting in a lot of work there they are questioning if there's going to be any obstacles because of maybe what you've experienced or how you feel about things from your past in your life um they're hoping that you're not holding back um your guardedness is what spirit's saying they're hoping that that you let your walls down and i do feel like they're also seeing you as maybe somebody who is having to move in silent and who's having to strategically plan something um, and move on from something from your past. And I feel like this person is, they might feel in some way that you could have insulted them in some way or because of a lack of planning. I feel like this person questions if there's deceit I feel like this person just, I feel like this is a fear this person has. But they don't see you as someone who's bad because I asked what they want. Um, they want commitment. But I feel like they're, this is just a thought in their head that's like, can I trust Scorpio? I don't feel like you've done anything. This is just something that maybe this person is just asking themselves, especially if they want some sort of higher level commitment. 
Um, Spirit, tell me why the Empress is here, please. Let me see. Where's my deck? Why is the Empress here? Yeah, King of Pentacles again. Yeah, this person, bottom of the deck, the chariot again. So look, we have King of Pentacles here. We have that twice. This is definitely probably an earth sign or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. I'm hearing Capricorn or Virgo. Taurus. And I feel like this person is questioning if that you guys can stabilize something here or this is what they're wanting. They're wanting to stabilize something here between the both of you and bring this into a reality instead of just talking about it. This person's more about be about it. I feel like somebody from your past was just talk. I'll talk. Um, this person from your past, I feel like um, they were someone who was weak-minded. They tried to, you know, be remain um, domineering over you. And I feel like they tried to possess some sort of power over your life. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles underneath that. I feel like you're trying to find balance and maybe... Um, how you move forward and this is taking spirit saying this has taken time this has taken a lot of time for you to be able to move something forward yeah but you I feel like you were hoping and wishing to find your happiness could be having dealing with somebody with Leo I feel like you're finding things that truly make you happy now there's been spirit saying you've been given clarity about what you need to do um, to Go after this wish. I feel like you're healing. You're healing. And this healing is going to make you feel very happy. Um, and I feel like this person this person that you're dealing with really cares about you. Okay. With that King of Pentacles right there, I feel like someone is... Someone's trying to make you feel secure. They're trying to make you feel safe. I feel like you don't trust easily. And I feel like they're doing this by, by actually grounding something in the 3D and the reality. To make you see that they're willing to put in and they're not talking. Just all talk. I feel like this person is very nurturing to you. They're trying to make you feel safe. They're trying to show you that you can create things. And that you can trust. But at the same time, I don't think this person is expressing any doubt or fears in their mind. And still questioning if maybe you could be doing something. They're hoping that what you have is real. They feel it. Very much so is what Spirit's saying. This is a very strong connection. But there's someone who I feel like in the background was kissing your ass. And this person can't help but question if, what if Scorpio goes back? Is Scorpio ever really going to let their guard down so that we can move past something? Or are they ever going to move past this energy from their past? This is a person who's just a little bit concerned about that. I feel like they might just want you to be more assertive. They might even want you to give them more information and just communicate better. I feel like um, this person also, I feel like this is a person who's very direct. Other communication. They might even be telling you soon that they just want you to let your walls down. And to move past maybe any arguments or fight. Maybe this person here from the chat, as it being in a challenge, healing from that. I feel like part of the challenge could be with this new person is that they're hoping that you can actually heal from this person and they're showing you that you can trust them. They've already made a choice to work on this. They're hoping you let your walls down and that you can move on past what this person's done in the past and that, that you guys can actually have a higher level of commitment and create because this is this person's intentions and this is what their next actions are. Okay, let me clear these, Scorpio. Okay, let's find out what spirit wants you to know. Give me messages for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know, spirit? Thank you for hitting that like button. This is resonating. If you don't mind hitting that like button for me, I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what does Scorpio need to know? Tell me about Scorpio. What's Scorpio's energy? Give me Scorpio's energy, spirit. A shuffle. Messages for Scorpio. What's Scorpio's energy? Veiled paths. 
This is a hidden path in the secret garden offers a shortcut. Will you choose bravery or safety? Choose the path, less travel. So Scorpio, I do feel like you're in this energy right now to where there is something you're not seeing. And I do feel like you could be overly focused on maybe things that's happened in your past, afraid to take a chance. Um, maybe for some of you, it's just easier to go back and to go to something that you knew that was toxic, that was possessive, that made you not see yourself. Maybe it's the easier, easier choice in this situation um, than to actually take the path that's less traveled. And if anything is going to good that's going to come from it, I feel like, you know, whatever's going to be the better option is usually the harder one, it's the most difficult than the other. And I feel like spirit's wanting you to see that this new person who's really invested with that king of pentacles this is somebody who's invested in you um i feel like they're trying to show you by their actions and i feel like this is a person who who maybe it's going to take a little bit of work to overcome something from your past okay um but it says a hidden path is in the secret garden offers a shortcut okay so maybe don't don't take the easier road maybe it's a little bit more difficult maybe you're also overthinking something okay will you choose bravery and state or safety or are you going to go back to something that's not good for you or that made you feel like inadequacy okay we have venom of doubt yeah Scorpio. so you're in this energy of you have a lot of self-doubt okay maybe you're not believing that something's going to work out like the way that it, that you want it to it says you will encounter deceptive information that could poison your decision making. Seek truth and rely on verified sources. So I feel like, yeah, with the gossip and slander or moving in silence, there could be information that you're receiving about something that's going to, it's a seed of doubt that someone's trying to place in your mind. Okay, this is attacked directly from the enemy and it's because someone is, is angry or upset or they're trying to make you, or they're trying to create doubts in your mind. And I feel like this is something that will come very soon, within the next month or two is what Spirit's saying to me. And this is something that is deception. It's deceit. This is something that is meant to catch your eye. This person could be purposely doing this. And they're trying to create some sort of seed of doubt in your mind that could really tarnish the way that you would hope something would go and it's because this person's doing it intentionally is what spirit is saying to me to maybe make you feel like that you can't move forward on this new path but spirit's saying you need to be brave and you're going to be safe you're going to be fine but you need to believe in it yeah yeah i'm seeing your thoughts influence your reality okay Choose hopeful, positive ones. Clarifying your core beliefs. Yeah, so what is it that your heart's really telling you? Like, do you, do you, see, a, do you see one way? Or is someone maybe trying to put doubt in your mind? It's this universe within. So make sure that you're thinking. I feel like there's, there's been doubts in your mind. And this has been done intentionally. And I feel like you need to... Create positive thoughts, okay? There is there's some there is a different way, Scorpio. There's something that you need to choose bravery instead of the past. Let me see. You're being guided by spirits. We have mental mastery. You will master a skill that enhances your mental activity and analytical abilities. Focus on skill refinement, excel in execution in execution. Yeah, I feel like you're going to receive the answers, Spirit's saying. You're going to receive the answers that you need, okay? Um, I'm hearing clean slate. So there's a clean slate, but you need to... I, I'm just feeling like, Scorpio, this is something that can only come from within, okay? Tell yourself, I believe that I can have this. I believe that I can do this. I believe that I deserve this, Okay? Um, this is really, this This is the most important spirit saying to me. We have take root. Prosperity grows where the roots are deep. Invest in foundational skills and knowledge. Depth brings abundance. And then we have quantum leap. Okay. Um, 
So what I'm getting, Scorpio, is you're, you're going to get, you are going to receive some information. With take root being here, it says prosperity grows where the roots are deep. It's saying whatever you're thinking and telling yourself, you manifest, okay? And it, you need to be mindful of your thoughts and what you're thinking and telling yourself. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? I feel like you're you're kind of scatterbrained maybe. Maybe you really are scatterbrained right now. Um because I'm feeling just kind of, I can't get my words out, but I know what I'm thinking. I can't explain it. Um, I do feel like you need to overcome some sort of negative self-talk, okay? And I do feel like there's information that you're going to get. And I feel like this is done intentionally. Someone wants you to find this out. Maybe they're digging up dirt with online stalking social media um someone's watching you they're trying to gain information about you and it might be because they see you moving towards something that's abundant and this is a person who is pretending that they don't care it's this is a person who's throwing the rock and hiding your hand okay and they're trying to create some sort of seed of doubt that's poisoning your hopes and dreams of moving on from a situation or moving past from something and taking the lesson and learning it and going um and they're doing this, maybe this person knows that you are someone who's in your head, possibly. And they're trying to create doubt in your mind to make you too scared to take that leap of faith. It says, venturing into new realms, the risks are high, but so are the potential rewards. Fortune favors the brave. There's a big message here about being brave, Scorpio. Um, there's a new timeline that you're, you're crossing or that you're coming up on. I feel like there's an ending of a cycle of a situation and it's saying in order for you to take this leap into venturing into this new realm, right? Yeah, there's going to be risks that are high, but you need to take certain chances, okay? And don't let people from your past or information that you find poison your thoughts and to create self-doubt because remember this person from your past, that king of wands, is someone who was possessive and I feel like because they've lost power over the situation, they are trying to figure out any other way that they can do it to keep you from moving forward and moving on because this person just likes control. They're tyrannical, okay? Um, and I feel like this is something that's done intentionally. They might, you might tell this person from your past that you knew something or heard something and they're going to cre create doubt because they're, they're going to try to make you question yourself, like gaslight you. Um, and I feel like this is done intentionally, but they're going to play like they don't know, okay? You, the challenge is here that you need to master some sort of mental thoughts that you have. You will master a skill that enhances your mental acuity and analytical abilities. So yeah, so maybe something about, maybe doing meditation videos, maybe watching self-help videos or reading books, um, maybe just even like surrounding yourself with positive people that are very uplifting, that help you, that don't create doubt in your mind, that tell you that you're good at something, um, I feel like it's maybe right now one thing that could really help is Spirit is saying to make a list of all of the good things that have happened in your life within the past six months, okay? And think about where you are now from where you were. And I feel like this is something that can help you remember that, yes, maybe the Knight of Pentacles, we saw that Knight of Pentacles, something might be happening slowly, um, with perfectionism being there, I feel like you, you're expecting everything to be perfect, but it doesn't work that way. It's a, all a learning. It's an experience. It's what it, you're doing. It's a learning experience. And I feel like this has taken a lot of strength and resilience for you to overcome this. But I feel like your mind is a very powerful thing, and you overcoming some sort of mental imprisonment or traps or negative self-talk is, is going to be crucial to the situation. Okay. You're, there's something you're going to learn or figure out, and I feel like this is going to be able to enhance your mental acuity and your analytical abilities. So you just focus on, on skill refinement, and then this will help you ex execute some sort of plan, and things will begin to take root. And when they take root, prosperity will begin to grow from these roots that are deep invested in, in how, what you say to yourself, how you tell yourself that you can make something happen. Um, because I feel like there's a seed of doubt and it's somebody purposely placing it there. And whatever it is that you're doing, 
it's not going to be easy, but this is going to be something that is going to require bravery. And I feel like eventually you're going to feel very safe. There's something you're not seeing. I feel like there's information that you're getting, both negative and positive. But I feel like this negative is going to be, it's going to be extremely important that you don't let this negative information that you receive that's trying to poison your decision making. You need to really think about it. Talk to the right people a lot. Some, there's really a lot of big message that I'm getting about overcoming some sort of self-doubt that you talk, that you're hearing or that you were, it's a learned behavior or just a behavior that you've always done. And I feel like this is um, being really important that you don't believe everything you hear and that you keep continuing to think positive thoughts. Okay. And I feel like this can, this, this positive thoughts could, you need to really stop and think about what your core beliefs are. Somebody could be saying something to you. I feel like saying, stay true to yourself, what you believe, your morals, your values. Um, and I feel like that could be part of the necessary information that you're needing to remember that's going to take you towards this hidden path that's going to offer you maybe even a shortcut that's a path less traveled because maybe it seems a little bit more scary. Um, and I feel like once you can go within and ask yourself, they're gonna, it's going to help you influence this decision that you make that's going to allow you to feel hopeful and have positive feelings, positive affirmations. This is going to clarify your core beliefs and what you really need to do. The universe is within, it says. Okay? And once you do that, you're going to be able to take root and prosperity is going to happen. Something's going to get better. And you will be jumping timelines. This is a quantum leap. Venturing into a new realm. It says the risks are high, but so are the potential rewards. Fortune favors the brave. Be brave, Scorpio. And take this, this path less traveled. But you can only do that by going within and asking yourself, clarifying your core beliefs. And once you do that, you need to remember to focus on your skill refinement so that you can excel into execution. In order to make this happen, it's going to be really, really important that you master a skill within your mind about talking positive and not letting these this venom of doubt or information that you hear, not letting that be a scare tactic to you. And once you're able to do that, things will grow. Things will get better. And I feel like it's saying these. there's some sort of maybe even core beliefs that you have within your mind that you've always told yourself, um, like, I could never do this or, you know, that would never happen for me or it doesn't matter because this is what's going to happen. Um, you need to, to release some sort of self-talk, negative self-talk. This is something that maybe you were even taught growing up. Maybe it's something you've seen a parent do. But something, there's a root here. And I feel like this depth of this root is affecting you. Something you've always told yourself about somebody in a relationship. Or always just assume, okay? And... Maybe even you even hearing a parent say something like this. It's important that you really go back to your core belief and ask yourself, well, is that really, is that really, um, is that really how I feel? Like my family always told me this, like, is that really how I should be feeling? Is, do I align with that same truth? Or do you believe something else? Taking the leap, a quantum leap, going down a new path. That's not ever been maybe chose. That's going to require bravery. That's going to help you move forward. And it, it might even be a shortcut, Scorpio. This might be something that feels like it needed to be longer. Um, but I feel like it's going to happen. There's going to be a, there's a, a better option, Scorpio. And it might be scarier and require more bravery and confidence. But I feel like this is something that you're going to realize that, why didn't I do this from the beginning? Okay? I just saw this card fall off. Okay? It says chakra reboot. Activate your heart chakra by choosing a new path on your walk or picking a book blindly. Reconnect with the power of nature. Scorpio, you're, you, you need to realign your chakras. I feel like they're out of whack. Out of fact, hold that thought.
that's the heart chakra, okay? There's, there's something here. You need to maybe go online and just do like, you know, um, like a meditation guide or something and listen to mantras, okay, or sound healing therapy. Um, in, even if you think that's silly and you're like, I would never try that, try it out, okay? Because I feel like this is something that can help align your chakras again. Sorry about that, Scorpio. So there's something about activating your heart chakra by choosing a new path on your walk. This is going to be a hidden path with the, the veil. We saw that one. There's a new beginning, okay? Behind every closed door, a new beginning awaits. Seek new exits. So maybe you need to exit something. And I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck we have savings. Future security is built on today's savings. Begin saving for the future now. So there's something about maybe... That you need to set aside maybe something to help you exit. Maybe you need to save money to leave a situation. Okay? The power is within you. It says, when the spotlight finds you, respond with unwavering authenticity. Let the true self shine. Chase the glow. Yeah. This is about being who you are, showing people who you are, and not being worried about what everybody else thinks. Okay? Um, there's something that maybe... Spirit has been hoping that you would gain information about your life that has maybe you've put you've put this on hold. Okay? This is something that you know you don't even show people, but something about this information could be showing some sort of star power that could be um, helping you start a new beginning. Okay. We have support and unseen justice. Scorpio, I love this. It says in invisible forces. Of fairness play around you. Align your actions with integrity to harness their power. Fairness flows through the unseen. And then we have support. Seek support during this time of difficulty to enhance productivity. Don't bear the burden alone. So there's something about maybe somebody around you or people around you that you need to, maybe you need to lean on somebody right now to help you, to to really be able to go within, I feel like you you could be all over the place and just have a lot that you need to do. Um, ch go after what you want. There's something that maybe you've kept hidden that's going to lead to a new beginning or a new path. Um, you need to seek support right now through these times of difficulty. This can, this can help maybe relieve some of the worry and stress that you have. And this venom of doubt, you need to talk to people. Okay, maybe get their ideas Okay, because there's something about a hidden path that's going to help you overcome something, okay? And I feel like if you're worried about anything, Scorpio, we have unseen justice, okay? This card says invisible forces of fairness play around you. Align your actions with integrity to harness the power. Fairness play flows through the unseen. So there's something about you doing this. It's going to help lead to a new beginning. You're, you're going to be okay. Once you can lean on the right people... It said, don't bear this burden alone. So if someone's trying to help you, to help you secure a future, um, and maybe even saving, this is going to lead to the new beginning. You need to, you need to accept the support spirit saying, there's something that is going to go in your favor. Okay? All right, Scorpio. Let's see. I'm getting a couple more messages. Messages for Scorpio. It's a couple more. Two more. Okay. We have next level. An opportunity will open that seems like a fantasy. Trust your vision and dare to dream. Scorpio, something's going to be happening positive for you. Okay. I hope that these messages brought you clarity and insight into your situation, Scorpio. I hate to cut it off, but I'm in a hurry. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the day and this resonated. Until next time. Bye.